Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing? Well, I'm back. <laughs> I'm back in action. I just realized that I did not change my battery. So, depending on how long I vlog, I'm probably gonna have to change my battery here in just a little bit. But anyway, I have been filming like crazy. I honestly, when I woke up today, I thought, maybe I'll take another day. I got really, really sick last night. I'll tell you guys about that in just a second. But I woke up today and I was, I got a lot of sleep last night, but I just felt really exhausted and not great today. And I thought, okay, Alex has gone at work all day today. I'm just going to try to film one video at a time. And so I sat down and I filmed a drama video and then I filmed, I did these upstairs in the bedroom, and then I filmed a Peter Does Stuff video and then just like one video after another. And this is my seventh video that I filmed on every single one of my channels today, which is kind of crazy. But it's a good way to start 2024 at home, um, filming on all of my channels today. So I'm actually, uh, Uploading I think like two videos right now. So when I get done with this video, I get done with this vlog All of my other videos will be posted and then um, I get to spend the night with Alex and Boo Radley So I'm very very excited about that. It's it's currently. Let's see what time it is. It is 4 35 um, I'm actually getting done with my stuff earlier than I usually do um First of all, I just want to say thank you guys for understanding me taking a couple days off. You guys were so gracious with your comments and stuff. Um, I didn't really plan to, in all honesty. Um, the one night that I took off and I said that I was going to film the next day or whatever, I can't remember what I said now, but it was just that we got back from the beach and I was really, really tired and I was like, if I don't film now, I'm going to have to film after dinner. Um, but Alex and I were just going to kind of like relax and watch some shows and then we ended up staying at, um, we went to this little bar afterwards that we go to sometimes after we go to dinner and we ended up staying there longer than we usually do. And so while we were there, I was just like, I am not going to race back to film the vlog. And so I just want to enjoy the moment. Y'all know that that's my 2024 goal is to just be in the moment and just appreciate the moment and live in the moment. So I just put out on the Vlogarinos group and on my community tab that I wasn't going to vlog that night. And then the next day I woke up <clears throat> and I was like, you know what? I think I'm just going to take the next couple days and not film any videos on any of my channels and just go to the beach with Alex and just enjoy the day and just enjoy the end of our vacation. And we did. We had such a great vacation. It was... Um, it was so good for us. We like connected on like a level that, <clears throat> I mean, our vacations are always really good. They're really good times for us just to reconnect and just be like the two of us and whatever. But <clears throat> we just found ourselves like, I, I don't know, just like laughing together and having just such great moments. And just, it was um, so romantic at times and just a really, really good time. I actually, I finished the Heartstopper graphic novel while I was there, and then I read, while well, I listened to Audible, four books while I was there. Um, I'm going to talk about that. I actually filmed a booktube video today talking about what's going to happen with the book, uh, book clubs in 2024, but I ended up reading um, five, listening to five, well, the, the graphic novel, and then I listened to five audiobooks while I was there. I couldn't believe it. I was like listening to like a book a day. I was talking to Tanya and I was like, Tanya, I'm like on my third book. And she's like, I am loving that you're so back into reading while you're on vacation. Well, part of it was that we couldn't stream our shows. And I think people knew that because I put that out on social media. I was like, I can't believe I can't stream any of my shows. I had, down okay, so I downloaded like five movies, but I wasn't really in the mood to watch a movie. And um, I'd watch this movie that Carol, on the way there, that Caroline loved. I can't remember what it was called, Three Days Before or something. It was okay. I talked about that already on here. But I downloaded like five movies and like 16 or 18 episodes of Vanderpump Rules. And, um, but I had all these reality shows I wanted to watch. So many people were like, Peter, you need to get a VPN. You need to get a, so if y'all don't know what a VPN is, look it up. But anyway, we have one. It just wasn't working and we couldn't figure out what was going on. And so we, we, we got it figured out. We got everything figured out with that. But, <coughs> um, so I wasn't watching shows and, you know, I think that me like binge watching shows has kind of gotten me away a little bit from listening to books. But now, 
And I would literally, at night, I would just like lay on the couch out on uh, the little patio that we had. I would like lay on the couch or sit like there and drink a cup of coffee. And I would just listen to like two hours straight of a book. And um, I just loved it. I. I listen to, well, I don't want to tell you guys what books I like. We can look at my Goodreads and see, but um, I don't want to tell you what books because I want to go through on my booktube channel and I want to tell you guys the books that I read, but I read some fantastic books. I read like three thrillers. Two of them were fantastic. One of them was not good at all. And then I read this other book. Most of them from, were from Reese's Book Club. I've kind of fallen down the rabbit hole of Reese's Book Club and picked books off of there. And so, um, well, I guess one of them wasn't from Reese's Book Club, but the, the first one in the series was. So anyway, I listened to these books, and I just was like, I, I just would lay on the beach, and I would listen to these books, and Alex and I walked almost every single day, like a mile one way and a mile the other way, or two miles one way and two miles the other way. We walked like every day. We swam in the ocean. It was just such a fantastic trip. And so... The last couple days I was like, I am just going to sit here and enjoy my time with Alex and listen to books and and we just had such a fantastic time so it was so nice. I'm losing my voice because I've talked so much today so I don't know how long I'm going to actually be able to vlog but I'm back and I was like, I want to vlog, I want to vlog for like two hours so I don't know, we'll have to see. Um, but yeah, so it was a, we had a really fantastic trip and um, it, was just a, it was a great way to... Um, start the new year and stuff. We usually meet, like, um, well, one of the couples that we had met before was supposed to meet us there, but they got tickets to the the, Rolls, the Rose Bowl, I think, so they didn't end up coming. Um, we met a couple couples. We met the couple from Indianapolis, but they left, like, way before we did. We met another couple um, that were actually from Hawaii, and they were super, super nice, and we saw them a little bit. But we usually meet, like, one couple that we, like, get to know really well and become friends with and stuff like that. We didn't actually, on this trip, we talked to a couple different people. Um, there were a, uh, like, the last day Alex met, that we were in the pool, because I was, like, at the, when we were done at the beach, I like to go to the pool for, like, a half an hour, an hour. And, um... We, like, always go to this, like, quiet pool. And he met this couple that was from Columbia and was talking to them for a while. There were a lot of people there that were from Columbia, actually. Um, the mother and the two daughters that we sat with on New Year's Eve, they were from Columbia, and they were super nice. And then um, there was, like, one other couple that was sitting, like, way down at the other end of the pool. And there was these two guys in the pool. And they were this gay couple that was from England. And so I was just talking to them because it had been cloudy earlier in the day. And I had said, like, it was turning to be such a beautiful day and ended up talking to them. They were very, very nice, too. Um, and they were telling me, like, other places they had traveled and stuff like that. But we didn't really, like, meet anybody that, like, you know, exchange phone numbers and keep in contact with like we had before. So um, it was just like, a lot of Alex and, and Peter time. It was nice. It was really nice, you know. And... Um, we actually, like, we made our dinners later. Our reservations were, like, at 9. So we would get back to the room by, like, 4.30 every day. Um, and so we would have, like, four and a half hours. In the, it just was nice. It just was really nice. It was really relaxing. And so it was a fantastic trip. We left Cancun yesterday early. And we flew to Miami. We had a long layover in Miami. Miami was packed. I feel like everybody in the world was flying back yesterday from places. And so, um, <clears throat> cause we like made it through immigration like really quick, like in 10 minutes. I just reviewed these two coffees. So they were both pretty bad. I don't know which one, I'm gonna, which one, which one I can stomach more. But anyway, so we were in Miami for this long layover. So we went to like one of those airline clubs, you know, where they have like the food and like the lounge chairs and all that kind of stuff, showers and everything. It's really nice. And um, the first thing we did was we like both like hooked up to Wi-Fi and like downloaded. Well, I downloaded Thousand Pound Sisters, and then I downloaded um, the Royal Housewives of Salt Lake City. <clears throat> so Alex got like guac and chips, and was sitting there, and I had like these little cupcakes and like a cup of coffee and um, a Diet Dr Pepper, and um, I was so excited they had Diet Dr Pepper. And so I was sitting there. They had like one of those machines, you know, that has like all the different flavors of drinks and stuff. And so the one wasn't working. But anyway, so we were sitting there and we were both watching Salt Lake City like side by side. And anyway, we had a really good time. The travel home was good. I ate something. I got cross contaminated yesterday. I don't know what I don't know what I possibly I was so careful what I ate. And um 
I really didn't eat anything yesterday, so I don't know what it was. I don't know if something was like touching meat or something, but like I can tell the difference. It's like not just like you get sick to your stomach, it's like it goes through your stomach like really bad. And at some point throughout the day, I got cross contaminated. It was like something that happened like in Miami because it was like after that and I just was not feeling good. I was like sweats and chills and stuff like that. So <clears throat> it was not good. We were on our way back from Miami to Indianapolis and um, like in the plane and I just had Vanderpump rules. I had like thousand pound sisters and I had Vanderpump rules and I was like halfway through uh, thousand pound sisters and so I was like, I gotta, like, all I'm gonna have is Vanderpump Rules to watch. And so, like, I connected to the Wi Fi on my phone real quick. And um, this was before we were, like, literally on, like, the strip to, like, take the plane to take off. And um, Nikki had told me that the second part of The Curious Case of Natalia Grace had come out. And I really, really wanted to watch it. And there were six episodes. So I downloaded, like, real quick, I, like, downloaded all six episodes. I don't know how I got them. And then the plane took off. And I ended up watching three of the episodes I watched one, half of one so I'm like halfway through the fourth episode when we got home I felt so anyway we flew home I watched three of those episodes it's unbelievable I don't really like know I, I told Nikki I said don't tell me anything about the rest of the season yet because I don't really know what I think so far it's like so like it's so confusing and so weird and I don't know who to believe and it's just like the whole thing is bizarre but anyway, I mean, she proves a lot in the second series, I'll tell you that, about the age and all that kind of stuff. If you've never watched it, it's like intrigue, and it takes place like 20 minutes north of me. She grew up, or she lived with the, uh, I can't remember their name, Bart, Bart, Bartners, Bartlets, whatever their name was, but she lived with them in um, the same, in Westfield, which is the same area where Alex's mom lives, and actually Caroline lives too. So like, five minutes from where Caroline lives and like two minutes from where like Alex's mom lives. So it feels very local watching the show. But anyway, so we got home last night. It took forever to get our luggage. There was like, I don't know how many planes that landed at the same time in Indianapolis, but a lot. There were so many people at the baggage claim area. It took us like 45 minutes to get our bags, which is really long because in Indianapolis, it's usually like 10 or 15 minutes and they're there. So it took a really, really long time. Um, hold on a second, this is Alex. Oh, Nikki just texted me some ice cream that her son found. Oh, Kraft Mac and Cheese ice cream. This is what she just texted me. It's Kraft Mac and Cheese ice cream. Her son found it. So she's telling me that to review it. So I'll have to review that. Um, and then we got back to the house. Alex, like, was in bed and, like, looking through TikToks about to fall asleep, like, within five minutes. I have to unpack as soon as I get home. So I unpacked all my bags, have my computer set up, had everything done. Had all my laundry in the laundry basket, had all my shoes away, had my suitcases in the hall ready to put up. I put those up today, put the lawn, started laundry today, got everything done last night, had everything unpacked last night, had my like, cos well, I always called it a dop kit when I was growing up. I don't know what we call them cosmetics bags now. Had all that stuff out, cologne out, contact case out, everything out. Everything put away last night. And then Alex went to sleep, and so I was like, I'm gonna watch a little bit of the show. I was really, really tired. I felt like. I don't really know how to explain, but when you get cross contaminated, it like it really wears down. It's like you have like a flu for like 12 hours or something. Like it really takes your body through it. Um, I ended up going to bed about right before two o'clock last night, and I slept until like 11:25, I think today. So I mean, I got like over nine hours of sleep. I woke up I woke up a couple times last night. Um, but I still got some good sleep last night. I just, like, I woke up today and I just felt, I still felt wrecked. I just felt like I had been put through it. So, um, but anyway, I started watching the fourth episode of Natalia Grace. I brought out all my dips from Costco, had all my dips out and stuff. And then I was like, you know what? Like, I need to watch, I, I gotta watch something else. Like, I gotta watch something fun. So I watched, I have two episodes of Canada's Drag Race to catch up on. And so I watched... The episode from last week or two weeks ago, I watched that because I was like, I got to watch something fun. And by the end of it, I was like, literally like my eyes were like this. I was so tired. So I went upstairs and laid in bed. Actually, I was like, I've been trying not to, uh, I didn't take my trazodone for the last two days or two days before that. So Friday and Saturday, I didn't take my trazodone and I didn't take it last night. I'm going to take it tonight. Because it wasn't really working that great on the trip, and it hadn't really been working that great before. And so I find that some days, like when I skip a day, 
It like works a little bit better. Let me pull you guys in. So, um, I've been trying not to take it for a couple days. Did she just text me something else? Oh, Alex is on his way home. So, um, uh, let me text him back. Yay. So, I, um, so I, I had a hard time falling asleep last night, and then I did fall asleep, and then, like, I woke up several times throughout the night. Like, my, my stomach was hurting and stuff. This bird. Okay, so let me tell you about this bird. I actually haven't seen her at all, her or he, I don't know what, at all today, which is interesting. Okay, so, you know, we have cameras around our house and stuff, right? And they're all set up to this system on our phone. So every time, like, something like motion sister system sets off the camera, um, we get, like, notified on our phone. Well, our phone is, like, going off, like, crazy, like, four days ago. On our, like, Alex is like, what is going on? <laughs> like, because every time we would look on the camera, you couldn't see anything, right? And so he's like, what is going on? We couldn't figure it out. Well, this one point, you, like, we're looking at the camera, and then all of a sudden you just see this bird on the side of it, right? Okay. So what we realized was, is that this bird is, like, sleeping. She didn't build a nest. I looked in there. There's no nest. Um, Alex texted me again. Hold on a second. He's on his way home. So this is going to be a shorter vlog than I thought it was going to be. But anyway, um, so she was, like, sleeping in the... Which is so weird because one of the last things, remember I said I was going to take all the stuff down? That was my plan before we left. I was going to take down the Christmas stuff, have it be done and all that kind of stuff. Then I thought, no, I got enough stuff to do. I can do it, you know, when I get back and all that kind of stuff. And so I didn't end up getting it done. And I was going to take down the wreath and throw it away and throw the other stuff away and I didn't get that done. So this bird has been sleeping in his nest and setting off our cameras on our front porch because all the lights go off and everything like that, right? And so we couldn't figure it out what it was. Well, so when I came in last night, like I went out here and just was like checking on stuff and whatever, and um, she was like sleeping in the wreath and then she like flew out and then she was trying to fly back in. I think she got nervous and she didn't like know what was going on because we haven't been here, right? And so she was trying to do it and I was like, sweetie, you can, I was like talking to this bird. I was like, sweetie, you can come back and sleep. And then I'm like trying to go inside real quick and like turn the light off so that she would like, you know, whatever. And I've come out here several times today. I filmed a couple of videos out here. She hasn't been in that wreath at all. There's no nest in the wreath or anything like that. So I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should leave the wreath up. It seems like it's probably like a safe place for her to sleep at night, you know? The thing is, is that it's supposed to get really, really cold here in Indianapolis. We had snow like one day while we were gone. I had my like all scratched up glasses and then I have these other glasses. So I'm my blue. These are the ones I've been wearing, these blue ones. Um, oh, special weather statement, it says. What's the special weather statement? An approaching weather system will cause rapid onset of precipitation across central Indiana late this evening, continuing overnight for counties along near the I-70 corridor, including Marion County, that's us, and the city of Indianapolis. It says precipitation may start as brief period of snow before quickly changing terrain. Any accumulation will be less than an inch of snow will quickly melt as temperatures rise into the middle and upper 30s overnight. This could create slick spots on roads. Higher snow amounts are expected over northern counties of central Indiana. Forecast trends are being, so it's supposed to be cold. Um, and then tomorrow it's supposed to be high of 43. Today it's 35 right now. 43 tomorrow, but then it's supposed to get real cold. Yeah, this weekend, 27, 17, oh, 9 on Monday, 9 on Tuesday. It's supposed to be in the teens, all, mostly next week. So I feel like I should probably leave the wreath up there for her to have a place to sleep at at night because I feel bad. It's not like it's going to kill us to keep the wreath up for another week. So, yeah. So, anyway, got up today. Oh, so then last night I ate my dips and stuff, went to bed, and um, woke up today and filmed some videos, and that's been about it. Did you guys miss me? I missed you like crazy. It was weird not vlogging for a couple days. I kept on like wanting to be like, okay, I'm just gonna vlog for like 15 or 20 minutes. And then I'd be like, oh, I'm just gonna vlog. It's just, I need to just take the day off and all this kind of stuff. And um, it was really, really a good practice for, like I don't by any means plan to like, I mean, I didn't realize Alex was gonna be home this quick. He's like, on, what is this? 
I didn't realize Alex was this close to being home, like, because I want to, like, be home and enjoy, like, spending time with him and Boo. Um, I didn't realize he was that close to being home or this vlog would be a lot longer tonight. Um, but the vlogs going forward are going to be longer. Um, that's my goal for January, February going forward is that, like, I'm doing, like, a 45 minutes to an hour every single day. Um, it was important. I mean, I'm not going to say I'm not going to take a day off here and there, but it was important for me to take a couple days off and just spend it with Alex. Um, and I love this channel so much and it was really hard for me not to vlog, but like going forward now, I'm going back to like the 45 minute to an hour vlogs. Um, and some of them may be inside in the bedroom and whatever. I'm thinking about like one of the things I want to do is like, I always kind of try like film my drama video first. So what I may try to do is do my drama video first and then film my vlog right after that. But we'll see. Just trying to like kind of live in the moment right now. Like it's, you guys know this is my goal for 2024 and you would think it would be a lot easier than it is to do. Like, I know it sounds silly, but I'm really kind of struggling with it. The thing is, is like, other than like, I'm gonna continue to make my list for every day, like my videos that I'm gonna film and things that I have to do. Like I know that I'm doing Cousin Fun Day with Caroline on Wednesday and whatever. And But other than that, like plans for like going to meetings or going with Caroline or something like that, or if we have a dinner planned or whatever. Other than that, my goal going forward is that if I, I'm just gonna get up and like, you know, if I feel like making videos that day, I make videos. If I feel like just sitting around and listening to audiobooks all day long or watching shows, I'm gonna do that. And, um, and I'm just gonna try to really live in the moment more and just really, and you know, and like when Alex is home and you know, with Boo and stuff like that, like spend, you know, the time with them. And I have a sweatshirt on, this is like starting to fit me like loose. It didn't fit me for a long time, but anyway, instead of, um, I got this at a thrift store like 20 years ago or 15 or 20 years ago and I love it. This is Iowa sweatshirt. I don't even think I know anybody in Iowa. But anyway, like when Alex is home and stuff like that, just like spending the time with him and, and not, and like, you know, even if it's just taking a nap next to him and whatever, but like not spending two to three hours being like, I have to film this, I have to film it. You know what I mean? Just being like, okay, it's done for the day. We're done. Alex is home and whatever. With that also means getting up earlier. So I'm going to try to like not sleep in as late and get up earlier and get my stuff done. Like today I got up at like 1130. I was able to take time in between filming videos. It was really nice to just kind of relax and whatever. And, um, you know, cause usually there are some days where I'm just like back to back to back to back. It didn't really feel like that today. It was nice. So, and I mean, it's not even like, I mean, it's four minutes, it's 4.56 and all my videos are almost done and up and Alex is on his way home. Then we just get to, you know, spend the night so together and just hang out with little Boo Radley in bed and it'll be fun. So yeah, so that's my goal. Um, I mean, I have several goals that I'm working on. Now I can tell you that eating, <laughs> this is so bad, the eating healthier and getting into shape goal will probably start next week because I am just like, I want to eat. There are some things I want to eat. First of all, the dips. Tonight, I'm like wanting to order something. I was kind of thinking like Piata, and then I'm like, I am so kind of over Piata. And then I was thinking pizza, because I thought maybe Alex will want pizza. Now I'm kind of thinking Cheesecake Factory, maybe Maggiano's. Pasta sounds really good. I actually had a lot of pasta on vacation, so I don't know how I feel about pasta. Um, my neighbor's home, uh, my neighbor next door. I don't know how I feel about pasta, but I'm like craving something. I don't know what it is. We have literally nothing in this house except for Diet Coke and um, Diet Coke and Coke and these horrible coffees that I reviewed. I think I actually called these reviews. This coffee was horrible. Because <laughs> it was. <laughs> as much as I love to be on vacation, I don't know. Tell me if you're like this, right? Like as much as I love to be on vacation, like I love coming home too. Like when I got all my stuff unpacked last night and I like put my jammies on and like, which is like a hoodie and my sweat and my these sweatpants or once I had everything I was just like kind of relaxed in my chair I was like I texted Nikki I think I texted Mel and I texted Nikki and I called Tanya when I landed and stuff like that and I was like I texted Nikki this picture because I knew she'd be up Mel goes to bed early and I texted Mel this picture or Nikki this picture of watching Natalia Grace and I said watching Natalia Grace with all my dips out that was before I changed over to RuPaul's Drag Race Canada well, actually I think I texted her that I changed over to that too but um as much as I love going on vacation, like I love being on vacation. I love staying in a hotel room. You know, I love going out to eat and stuff like that. I also love being at home. Like I really do. And um, not like right when I walk in the door, but once I get everything settled and everything put away and whatever, I realize like, 
like I realized how much I love my home. Like I just, you know, I do. And um, I don't know. It's, it's I, I realized watching something. I was watching something, and they said that they are a. I always say it wrong. I realize. I always say I'm a creature of comfort. But I realize whatever I say is wrong. But anyway, it doesn't matter. I just love my cozy front porch. And so I read all these thrillers, which I'm going to continue to read. But I have, like, so many cozy mysteries. You guys, I have to go in here and look. So I'm going to, the next book I'm going to finish is Stalking Around the Christmas Tree by Janet, a, a Jacqueline Frost. Because I still haven't finished that book yet. But um, I think it's the book that I'm actually reading right now. Hold on a second. I don't know. That was The House in the Pines, which was the last book that I finished. Not good. Okay. So I'm got okay, these are the books that I have, the Christmas books I have. I have The Christmas Murder Game, Murder on the Christmas Express, which was my December Peter's Book Club book that I haven't finished, Merry Christmas Cupid, Christmas Wish List, which are all these gay ones, Resty Murder Gentleman, which I think was November, I didn't finish that one. Is that it? Five books? I only have five Christmas books? Well, I'm going to read those Christmas Cozy Mysteries, so... That bird just come back over here. I heard her. In progress. Stalking around the Christmas tree. Here we're gonna. Oh, here. Ah! Here it is. So anyway, I'm gonna get back to stalking around the Christmas tree and finish that one, and that will be my sixth book for. Uh, and I started a new graphic novel last night, Juliet something. And um, it's about like this woman that moves to like Portland or San Francisco or something like that. It looks really good. And then I'm also reading the fangirl manga, the third part of the series. So, yeah, and tonight I'm just going to relax. I'm going to see what Alex wants to do for dinner, what he wants to order. I'm sure he's hungry because I don't think he ate lunch earlier. And uh, we didn't really eat a whole lot yesterday. So, hey. Saying hi. Hi. Did you miss me? We were in, we were in Mexico. Yeah, I wanted to hear about your trip, but uh, I'll stop by sometime when you're out here and not recording. Okay. okay. You look cute. You're purple. She's so sweet. I love my neighbor so much. I have to tell you, I kind of like missed my neighbor. It was so funny because she just came over to my neighbor across the street. She's like, you look so tan. She was like, I was like, oh, I missed you. She's like, I missed you too. So anyway, um, so I'm back. I'm back and I missed you guys. And um, yeah, so back into vlogging 2024. This is my eighth year vlogging. Is it my eighth year? My seventh year, my this is my eighth year vlogging. Seems weird, doesn't it? Eighth year from the front porch. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it through the winter. Should we look and see how many days until the uh, the countdown to the pool is open? 143 days until the pool is open. 143 days, six hours, 58 minutes, and two seconds. So till the pool opens. Can't wait. Anyway, I'm gonna get off here now. Do a real quick outro because Alex will be home any moment. I love you guys so much. Um, I missed her from my front porch while I was gone, even though I thought about you while I was in Mexico. And i um, glad to be back here talking to you guys again. It's going to be a great year. Probably some ups, probably some downs, probably some in-betweens, but we're going to live in the moment this year, right? We're going to live in the moment and enjoy it. And um, I'm so thankful for each and every one of you. I love you so much, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Love you.